Hey guys, Chris from Force Induction Pros here. Uh, today's video, we're gonna get straight to the um, transmission build. Uh, special guest Pete from Hughes Performance is gonna give us a rundown on the tranny and the converter. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you a little sneak peek at the new project car that's standing behind me. So tune in. Hey, Pete Nichols here with Hughes Performance, recording a little bit of footage for our good friends over at Forced Induction Pros, Chris Porter and Sam DiMartino. And we wanted to just take a couple of minutes and share our Ford Barra Power Glide and Torque Converter package that we built for Chris Porter's uh, Barra Powered RX-7 that he's going to be drag racing in several competitive classes back east. And, Florida and surrounding areas. So if you've been watching the Forced Induction Pros channel, you've been keeping up on the RX-7 build and you're up to speed on all the goodies with the Barra engine conversion. Uh, a little background on this deal, we're actually the first US-based company to develop Barra-specific hardcore drag racing transmission and converter products. Uh, we have a whole offering in the Power Glide and Turbo 400 series. Uh, as well as several other transmissions. Uh, we're just going to focus on Chris's package here. This is our Barra Spec Power Glide transmission. You can see it's got the quick time bell housing uh, that's designed to bolt up directly to the Barra engine with no adaptation or modifications necessary. We have the SFI certified transmission case, carries a 4.1 SFI cert, so you don't have to have any external shielding to pass an HRA or IHRA tech. That cuts down on bulkiness, plus the case itself is just significantly stronger than a OEM power glide case could ever hope to be. Uh, we have a roller tail housing on it, help reduce friction at the slip yoke. This overall build is based on a pretty proven recipe that we have in our Pro Series line of power glides. It's normally rated for use with 1500 flywheel horsepower, very durable transmission. That being said, we did throw a couple little tweaks at Chris's build uh, specifically for his combo because there is the possibility that Chris could push uh, power levels slightly above that 1500 figure. And we just want to make sure that he has enough safety margin with this package to where durability is not ever going to be a concern. So starting with our 1500 horsepower base build, uh, internally we upgraded from our standard Red Eagle frictions that we source from Alto to their G3 friction material in the direct clutch pack. It's just a stronger friction material. The Red Eagle's proven at 1500 horsepower and even beyond. The G3 is a really affordable upgrade, so we figured why not give direct just a little bit of extra help there uh, with that upgraded material. We also upgraded Chris's tranny from our conventional uh, billet servo cover to a Sonics cover, which has a boss here inside that boss. The servo apply pin rides inside there so you don't have just the servo pin being guided by the bore in the case you also have it supported and guided by the cover and that just helps with servo application and release for the low gear band uh, cuts down on any potential binding or shift overlap issues on the one two gear change it's a great upgrade it does show improvements even on data if you're data locking drive shaft speed and engine RPM and line pressure. Um, you can see the improvement, uh, not only in data, but also in your time slip on the gear change. So we offer this upgrade on any of our power glides. Uh, we also uh, upgraded the input shaft. Uh, it's a turbo spline shaft, so nothing real special there, but it is a Vasco material compared to the normal tool steel material that we use in our 1500 horsepower stack, uh, spec. The tool steel is great. It's been very good to us. We don't have failures at that power level. The Vasco is arguably just that much more strong. Um, and again, it's a really simple upgrade drop in deal. So we figure, hey, we'll give Chris that little bit of extra safety margin. Other than that, it's our pretty standard build spec. This unit's got uh, eight clutch direct drum. It's got a real good Raybestos band in it. Uh, the front pump has a roller thrust bearing. It's got a heat treated steel stator tube in it. Uh, the stator tube is pinned so this uh, can't spin the tube like you can run into with a normal stock stator tube and the stock pump. It's got an aftermarket set of pump gears in it. Uh, it has our own billet straight cut 169 ratio planetary gear set in it. We make that here in-house. 
We've been into the threes and the eights with our 169 gear set. So for Chris's application, it's absolutely bulletproof. Uh, it's got our forged steel 27 spline standard power glide dimension output shaft in it. It's got our pro tree cast iron trance brake. Uh, Chris will be able to drill a four tenths tree all day long with this trance brake. It's very fast acting, very fast setting, fast releasing. Uh, it's got a universal bolt-on shift arm, so it's going to work with uh, any shifter out there, no matter what Chris chooses. So just a really simple package to uh, install, uh, very low maintenance. And you may also notice that we have this apparatus here. Uh, if you've watched any of our videos on our channel, you may know what this is. This is one of our torque converter dump valves. And with this, we're actually dumping converter charge pressure as oil is entering the converter and exhausting it back to the pan to the fitting here. I've got a nice little charge pressure sensor port here so Chris can data log that through his fuel tech. And it just activates a uh, simple 12 volt activation and ground. So he, Chris can run it through his fuel tech. He can run it through the trans brake switch. Uh, there's a number of ways to set these up. Uh, this does a couple things. Um, by dumping converter charge while you're staging against the trans brake, you're going to get faster engine response and you're going to get significantly improved boost response. So you can actually effectively run a little bit tighter converter than normal for maximum converter efficiency. And it still helps you stage with the turbo car without having to fight it. Uh, it also reduces the forward thrust pressure that's naturally generated by the converter against the engine thrust bearing. When you're staging against a trans brake in a bearer, that's important because they have a weak uh, 180 degree flange style thrust bearing and a trans brake glider 400 can knock the thrust bearing out of those pretty quickly. Uh, fortunately, Chris has converted to a 360 degree uh, roller thrust bearing, so that's not going to be an issue. So this isn't so much for uh, thrust in Chris's application as it is to give him that extra parameter of converter tuning. It can also be activated and deactivated down track again to handle converter charge and converter tuning just adds that much more dimension to the whole uh, tuning aspect of the vehicle. So where the magic happens is in our Pro SSX bolt together torque converter. Uh, this is based on a Nissan nine and a half inch core, extremely versatile core in a turbo application, very fast acting, very efficient. It has our Pro SSX custom fabricated steel stator technology in it. We built a stator specifically for Chris's Barra RX-7. So we do that with every converter that we build at this level. Uh, no off the shelf stuff. And this is unique in that it's a GM Vera hybrid converter. So no adapters are necessary. We'll flip it over here real quick. You can see some of the Vera specific uh, features like the crankshaft pilot that's size to the Vera spec. So there's no spacers or adapters needed. And the OD here where your mounting points are our machine to a specific dimension to fit inside the lip that protrudes out from the billet steel atomic performance products flex plate that Chris is running on his engine. So atomic conveniently puts the general motors three by 10.75 inch PCD in the flex plate. Uh, but if you run a normal GM style converter uh, with that flex plate, you'll find that the mounting points, uh, your, your tabs don't fit inside that, um, lip that sticks out from the flex plate. So we have a flex plate here. We took that into account when we designed these mounts and the converter height is set accordingly for the depth of the quick time bell because that is different than GM depth. So this converter definitely is unique to the Barra power glide combo. Also works with the 400. And any of you watching, if you're considering a Barra swap and you're running a different bell like a Dello or a Torque Power, we can build the converter for those depths as well. Uh, we have all those heights on file, so no worries there. Uh, other general features, fully furnace brazed. It's got roller bearings on both sides of the stator and the back side of the turbine. Uh, heat treated steel turbine hub, heat treated steel pump hub. Uh, we furnace braze the impeller fins and the turbine fins. We silicon spot braze them as well in all the high stress areas. So this converter is essentially bulletproof. Chris is never going to have to worry about that. And thanks to the bolt together design, uh, as he generates more power, if he needs to tighten the converter up, we'll just send a Chris a stator to tighten the converter up. Conversely, 
If he wants to take power out of it for any reason, we can loosen the converter up again with a different stator design. So very user-friendly package, very simple. Again, low maintenance, durable. Uh, Chris should get a lot of years of service out of this before ever having to worry about freshening anything up. So that's the scoop on our Barra Power Glide and our Barra GM Hybrid Converter for the Forced Induction Pro's RX-7 build. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any more questions, want additional details, hit up Chris and Sam. They can get you any Hughes Performance products you want. Uh, definitely subscribe to their channel. They're generating great content and they're just generally great guys. Also, shout out to Chris's mom. Thanks for sharing our Facebook posts. So we will see you later. But here's a little teaser of the Evo Converted Mirage. Um, it's now here at Force Induction Pros. Getting ready to do some new things and uh, work with the guys from Hughes. So no better time to announce it. Yeah.